Hello and welcome to 1133 Willowdale Avenue, Kettering, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I will be your host. Here we're out in front of this home. First thing, the location. We're located just minutes from Alter, Kettering Middle School, Kettering High School, just down the street from the Green, the YMCA, just a fantastic location in the heart of Kettering. This house is unlike any one that you have ever seen. Very unique, tons of updates, gorgeous brick home. Wait until you see the inside of this house. Next, I'll meet you on the inside. All right, so here we just came through the front door. One thing I didn't point out to you on the outside, we do have a front porch here, and this is all that vinyl handrail that's maintenance free. And then we even have, I don't know if you can tell this, there we go. We even have wood with a plug in there as well. So great for decorations, very charming for the curb appeal too. Gorgeous front door with an oval glass in here. Then as we walk into the living room, opens up into a good sized living room here. Gorgeous wood floors flow throughout the first floor, most of the first floor of this house here. And then on the front of the house, check out this bench seat bay window, huge window. This is Pella wood windows, wood on the inside, and I believe uh, aluminum or vinyl on the outside. Gorgeous bench seat here. And then wood burning fireplace, wood mantle that goes around it, and these are act this is actually granite that goes around the fireplace here. The owners believe this fireplace does work. Um, it has been used in the past, but hasn't been used for a while. And then hard to tell, but when you're in here in person, we actually have three phase crown molding in here that runs all throughout the hallway and the first floor here. Bedrooms and a bathroom down this hallway plus our second floor access. I want to give you another perspective of the living room here. Just a great space here and it looks like the traditional gold oak, but this is more of like a uh, walnut color here. And then check out the kitchen here. Gorgeous kitchen. This was gutted and completely redone by the current owners. Frigidaire gallery refrigerator with the pull-out freezer. Very, very expensive refrigerator. Stays with the home here. Stainless steel. And then check out these cabinets. These are oversized 42-inch cabinets. Go all the way up to the ceiling. Great cabinet space in here. And look at these countertops. These things are gorgeous. This is granite and they are, they look, it looks like it's brand new here. Bread box in the corner, matching nickel hardware. The hardware is actually brand new. Dishwasher stays, GE microwave stays, and the Frigidaire gallery oven stays as well. Good dining space here. This little look through takes us over to the basement. We'll look at the basement here in a little bit. Basement is out of this world, by the way. Got some nice shelves going down to the basement there and the door to the garage. Now, one thing we didn't point out when we were outside, it's kind of windy, I was kind of rushed. This garage is huge. It's a one car garage, but it's extra wide and extra deep. So you have tons of space in there. Um, overhead storage, you can park the car in there and still have plenty of storage in that uh, garage but gorgeous kitchen, I love this kitchen. Stained glass window over the kitchen sink. Love it. Now coming down the hallway, we go to our first full bathroom. Now one thing that is very good to point out here, these are solid wood doors. This is, has like a walnut type finish on it, but as I'm touching this right here, this feels like glass. So a lot of polyurethane on this that you know, these things are gonna last forever. Bathroom has been updated with the updated vanity here. Granite countertop on here, and then three phase tile on here. We have tile here, tile here, and then the border up top. Shower tub to the left over here. Built-in linen closet, and this one really, really nice feature here. Laundry chute, takes it straight down to the utility room. And we even have tile on the floor in here as well. This is gonna be laid out a little bit differently than what you're accustomed to of the homes in this neighborhood. Pretty much is the same, but we got some bonus things on this one. This door, solid wood, coat closet here. 
This is your traditional third bedroom. This is on the front left of the house. We do have a ceiling fan in here. The Pella wood window in here as well. Hard wood does flow through here. This is just an area rug. Uh, this is on the middle left of the home if you're looking at it from the street. So this is the typical layout. Bedroom number two. This is also typical layout. This is the back left of the home. We have two Pella wood windows in here. Sliding closet doors. Now this is not wallpaper here. This is actually hand painted mural in here. So if you don't like it, it could be painted right over. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. So I would probably leave it. But look all the space in here and the wood floors go through the whole length of this floor as well. This is where it gets changed up a little bit. If you've been in this model of a home before, let's see, here we go. This is normally bedroom number three. This could be a third bedroom if you wanted it to, but we threw this Pella door in here to go to the outside and made this into an office. So you would think this would be a two bedroom, right? No, this is still a three bedroom with an office because they added a second floor on here and the whole entire upstairs is master suite. Wait until you see that up there. It is crazy, crazy big. But before we go up there and look at it, I wanted to give you a quick peek at the backyard here. We have a paver patio tile. Now this over here is a fountain. It's February at the time of shooting this video. So this is not in use obviously, but this is loaded with perennials here. All kinds of things come into blue, but I believe this is a Japanese maple tree here. The firewood could even stay with this property. Decent backyard. We do have a porch swing for this here. That can stay as well. Storage shed, the red one is on this property that stays and we even have a uh, gardener's closet right here as well this pipe here is the freestanding wood stove in the basement but check out some of the pictures that i have online to see all of the perennials that come up this place is loaded with perennials nothing's in bloom in february but check out the way that this place looks in the spring and check out my pictures we actually have some things starting to pop up and bloom right there so spring is on the way okay done out here next i'm gonna meet you upstairs sorry trying not to make you dizzy next i'm gonna meet you upstairs all right here it just came to the top of the stairs first thing you'll notice these are all what appears to me as oak stair treads that come all the way up we do have a ledge that goes all the way around well not all the way around just on one side of the staircase here Nice high entry coming in here. I like that ledge because you can put decorative items up there. Now wait until you see one of the biggest master bedrooms that you will ever see in this price range. Huge. The whole second floor is basically devoted to master bedroom. Wood floors flow throughout all of the sleeping area of the second floor. We have a closet here, closet here, and a closet here. So his and hers plus linen uh, closet if you wish. And there's also attic access back to the rest of the house through this closet, a little scuttle hole in the closet here. Huge master bathroom, decorative tile in here, gorgeous vanity, love that vanity, with a built-in linen cabinet on the other side. Vaulted ceilings with a skylight in here as well. Kind of a acoustical tray type ceiling and here we have a ceiling fan. And on the front side, we actually have a bay window with a bench seat up here as well. And this is overlooks the driveway. So like I said, <laughs> this bedroom is awesome. Next, I'm gonna meet you down in the basement. All right, so here I just came to the bottom of the stairs. Opens up into a gorgeous rec room in here but before we see the rec room let me show you the miscellaneous things here this is our workshop area this is where our water softener our holding tank and everything is we have glass block windows down here whirlpool water heater that was installed about one year ago almost exactly high efficiency linux furnace and air conditioner the furnace was installed in 2008 and i believe the air conditioner is less than one year old 
built-in air cleaner. There's a humidifier on here as well. So mechanically, this house is awesome mechanically. Everywhere else is awesome too, but mechanicals are top notch. And then the staircase is immediately to our right. There is a sump pump below the shelves here on the right. And check out this utility room. Need place to fold some clothes? Plenty. Old cabinets in the kitchen were put down here. Great storage. And the Whirlpool Cabrio washer and dryer both stay as well. Top of the line, high efficient washer and dryer, high efficient furnace air conditioner. This basement is actually insulated as well. So a very energy efficient home and mechanically everything's updated. Kind of a rustic feel down here. We have the display shelves in front of the cedar here. And then there's a double door right here. This was originally designed to store your bike. It's long enough to store bicycles in here. And then another decorative display piece. You can put your Ohio State stuff down here, your Bengal stuff, Cowboys, whatever floats your boat. And this cedar is going on a diagonal all the way through here. So it is very cool. You can see where they kind of come together. A lot of thought and care has gone into this place down here. And then across the room, check out where everything comes to a point. It's very impressive in person. Now down here, pretty much everything furniture wise is negotiable here. This pool table, this is from Watson's. I believe this was a $1,500 pool table uh, or more. That is negotiable. That piano over there, that's negotiable. Uh, don't want to get too much into the stuff, but the couches are negotiable. The bar stools are negotiable. And the bar stools go to our bar here. We have stained glass in here, and our panel box is actually back in here. There's a mini fridge that is built in over here. Perfect place to store the brew. We even have wine racks. Just a fantastic rec room. I can see having all kinds of gatherings down here. And check out this freestanding stove. This is top of the line. This is not old. This is triple ply steel liner that runs out to the property. Stone here, even have like a ceramic type stone with the mosaic stone, all arched. This thing is temperature control controlled, very high efficient. It will run you out of here if you run this on high heat, but there is a temperature control where it doesn't run you out of here as well. Even this wagon wheel coffee table is negotiable and it spins too. So guys, this house is unlike anything I've ever seen. Fantastic location in Kettering. It's even brick here. Ceramic tile in the kitchen. Tons of updates. There's hardly anything left to do to the house if you were looking for something to work on. This is one where you just move in. If you have any questions or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937 654-7355 or by email that is john j-o-n at buywithjohn.com that's b-u-y-w-i-t-h j-o-n dot com home of this caliber with this many updates at this price and these are nice high-end updates too people give me a call i look forward to talking to you and this one is not going to last long thanks for watching Oh my goodness, one thing, one big thing that I failed to mention and forgot, there's just so much with this house. This place has been professionally waterproofed by Everdry. So there's a perimeter drain that goes all the way in. There's a sump pump on the inside and a sump pump on the outside. Owners have had not had any problem with water in this basement and this was done a long time ago. You can see it going all the way around. Thanks for watching.